At least 50 people were killed and dozens injured in a fire likely caused by an oxygen tank explosion at a coronavirus hospital in Iraq's southern city of Nasiriyah, health officials and police said. As rescuers calmed the smog charred building in search of more bodies, Prime Minister Mustafa al kadimi held urgent meetings with senior ministers and ordered the suspension and arrest of health and civil defense managers in Nasiriyah, his office said in a statement. The manager of the hospital was also suspended and ordered to be arrested, the statement added. The new ward opened just three months ago contained 70 birds, said two medical officials who spoke in condition of anonymity in line with regulations. Amr al Samili, spokesman for the Dika Health Department, told local media there were at least 63 patients inside the ward when the fire began. Health crews carried charred bodies out of the burning hospital while many patients were coughing from the rising smog, a reporter at the site of the fire said. Health officials at Nasri has said search operations at the Al Hussein Coronavirus Hospital were continuing after the fire was brought under control, but thick smoke was making it difficult to enter some of the burnt wards. Raging fires have trapped many patients inside the coronavirus ward, and rescue teams are struggling to reach them, a health worker told before entering the burning building. Initial police reports suggested that an oxygen tank explosion inside the hospital's COVID 19 wards was likely cause of the fire, a policeman at the scene of the fire said. I heard a big explosion inside the coronavirus wards and then fire had ruptured very quickly, said Ali Mohsin, a hospital guard who was helping carrying wounded patients away from fires.